The United States of America will begin deploying long-range missiles in Germany in 2026. This joint statement by the two countries appeared on the White House website. When fully developed, these conventional long-range fires units will include SM-6, Tomahawk and developmental hypersonic weapons, which have significantly longer range than current land-based fires in Europe, from a statement on the White House website. The use of these advanced capabilities will demonstrate the United States' commitment to NATO missions, the statement said, and the publication's figures citing informed sources reported that for Germany this decision was due to the growing threat from Russia. According to German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, the deployment of U.S. missiles in Germany is in line with Berlin's national security strategy. Germany is the largest country in Europe that is part of the NATO alliance. This places a special responsibility on us, and I can and say very clearly that we accept this responsibility. American long-range weapons were already present on German territory during the Cold War and were completely withdrawn from there back in the late 90s of the last century. Now the return of U.S. long-range missiles to Germany is primarily due to the strengthening of the European deterrent system, the White House says. This is also confirmed by NATO. On deterrence and defense, we have deployed combat-ready forces on NATO's eastern flank put in place the most comprehensive defense plan since the Cold War, and we now have over 500,000 forces at high readiness in the alliance. Today, we decided to adapt NATO's command structure, improve our integrated air and missile defense systems, and to go further to match our defense plans with the necessary capabilities. The Kremlin has already stated that the deployment by the United States of its missiles in Europe threatens Russian strikes on the capitals of states where American long-range weapons will be located. According to Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Rabkov, Russia will develop, first of all, a military response. But even Kremlin propagandists point out that similar confrontations during the Cold War ended with the collapse of the Soviet Union. Reported by Dana Kolasnik, Natalia Husa, Security TV News.